Rubina allowed for definitely the longest spans in the, the Southern Hemisphere. The real hero to the project is the timber roof. It's just stunning when you go in and look up. Working with Rubna, with their teams available 24 hours a day, fluent English speaking management and designers, uh, it's fairly easy to overcome challenges and um, result in a successful outcome. To be involved with timber was just, it's a passion of mine I've always had. So to bring that passion for wood and experience with uh, Rubner as well, of what they've done worldwide, it was so fit for us. Adam's my name from Tekka Australia. We represent Rubner Holzbau in Australia. Stromlo Aquatic Centre, we're involved with the contract negotiation uh, initially. Uh, then we helped out with procurement of the project, right through to logistics, uh, building methodology, right through to completion. We were involved from day one. Uh, first design meeting was, what are we going to do with the roof? And our suggestion was, why not do it in timber? Uh, Everything else is done in structural steel for long spans, but we can get timber to work. Everyone was a bit sceptical at first until we showed them some examples over in the UK and Europe. And then once the architects saw what we could do, they were just blown away. Selix assisted with the uh, structural option right from the get-go. Um, right from suggesting the glue lamb beams right through to early concepts. Uh, we had many workshops structural workshops to nut out exactly what was going to happen from a structural position and um, yeah, Selix really pulled together some of the intricate uh, uh, connections as well as the overall um, superstructure. Design for manufacturing and assembly is the most crucial thing that you can bring to a project that we can bring to an architect, designer, engineer. To be involved at that early level, we can then design the project to suit the manufacturing. So therefore, we can have concealed bolts, concealed brackets, componentry that you don't have to cut on site. We like to deliver it to site so it's ready from container or truck, crane it out, crane it up, bolt it together and fix it in place. This saves us so much time um, on site. In general cases where you would have 10, 20 people to build, you can have six. So you save on labour, but you have, you expedite the time for installation. Having the structure um, prefabricated overseas in a factory where they do have the ability to manufacture it with millimetre precision, uh, factory fitted fixings and hardware, the metal components that go into the timber, is definitely an added advantage. When it does arrive on site, it all goes together very quickly and precisely um, without error. So definitely recommend that. Once the columns and outer beams and everything was in place, ready to be lifted up, Kane Constructions organised an open day. First lift was 19 tonnes of the 247 metre beams with all the purlins in between. A little bit nerve wracking, um, they invited um, us of course, being the supplier, and look a lot of people had a huge amount of questions and a lot of the questions that were asked were a, where was it made? How long did it take to, to ship? What was the manufacturing process like? What is the species of timber? How long is it and what's the weight? Having all those people on site gave us the advantage or the added value to actually talk to people and explain a little bit about how Tekka and Rubna operate in Australia. To see that lift was of nearly 19 tonne, we lifted up in 30 minutes, uh, was a credit to the guys uh, at Kane Constructions. Travelling to the Rubner factory was a really beneficial experience and definitely provided comfort to our team. Um, obviously meeting with the Rubner designers and managers early on in design 
gave us the opportunity to review any opportunities for improvement or uh, efficiencies. Um, and also there's fairly extensive modular capabilities that do come with the timber construction. So having that early engagement with the timber specialist such as Rubner really does allow you to incorporate some of their suggestions nice and early on. The thought of a timber structure spanning 47 metres over a pool with offset columns obviously sounded like it'd be fraught with issues originally. Um, but with the expertise of Rubner and quality designers and engineers on board, obviously, all those sort of concerns were put to ease pretty quickly. We, we saw um, big opportunities in using timber as opposed to structural steel. We were one of three bids on the team. We thought the other two teams would probably be using structural steel, so we tried to do something different. So the Stromlo Forest Park in general and especially the, the side of the hill on the, on the um, eastern side definitely played a huge role in the whole design including the glue lamb uh, timber structure right from um, how we laid out the site to the paving options to the paired back sort of more Australian palette that we used and obviously the glue lamb which referred back to the timber, timber forest around us. Yeah, we were ecstatic when we saw the plans for Stromlo Aquatic Centre. To have a 47 metre span in Australia was what we thought right down our alley. So we were uh, pretty excited and thought, gee, how are we going to do this? Um, it actually come together very, very well and, and far easier than we first anticipated, to be honest. Since then, I see so many projects all the time now coming up and big spans uh, becoming very, very popular. So it's quite an exciting time for the timber uh, industry in Australia and we're uh, happy to be involved. We see timber being used more substantially in the ACT region as, as its popularity grows. Um, both institutional, commercial, recreational buildings. Uh, there's a use for CLT and glue lamb timbers virtually everywhere if it's applied in the right way. Stromlo Leisure Centre saved 226 tonnes of CO2e, and which is absolutely phenomenal from an environmental point of view and that will enable us to give us the confidence to put forward glue lamp structure for other projects. In fact, we already are putting it forward for other projects with confidence to similar clients who haven't used it before but just want, want to know that it can be done. The holistic approach to the design of the project. Rather than just looking at the structure, we're looking at the benefits from a maintenance point of view and from an aesthetic point of view and from a sustainability point of view to make sure that the project was um, a winner on all of those rather than just putting up a steel structure. So the best period of looking at it was when the timber structure was just going up and you could see it from kilometres away and um, just the structure up was fantastic before they put all the glazing on um, but you know you sort of need to enclose it so that's okay. <laughs> I think we're going to see a lot more timber used in Australia moving forward definitely in recent times you can see there's a lot more builders, developers, uh, architects and engineers leaning towards the timber construction uh, due to the sort of beneficial outcomes that do come with timber such as the eco-sustainability outcomes, uh, modular construction and also the aesthetic sort of outcomes that timber can achieve. If I was to make any recommendation it would definitely be to seek early uh, timber specialist contractor involvement into your design. Obviously you have a structural engineer and an architect on the project, but there are some value adds that may come from the timber specialists, such as Rubner, which you definitely want to have the opportunity to capitalise on. Believe me, this is only the start of the capabilities of what will be built in Australia with timber.